I'm in the studio with Studs Terkel, and um, I've done a lot of interviewing on this station, and Studs Terkel has been interviewing people for many, many years in the East, and I thought it might be fun to talk about the about our trade a little, uh, and uh, I'd like to ask you, because I'd be fascinated to know, uh, how do you go about doing an interview? But as it's done, unfortunately, too often, because the questions are laid out, the person who laid out the question isn't really listening to what the person is no, saying. No, they're waiting to the answer the, ask the next question. Of course, so it doesn't matter. Something quite revelatory might happen. Something they call the revelatory phrase. It might be a pause. Say, and something you want to go yeah, off on a completely yeah. new tangent, and then if you've got a rigid thing here, you can't possibly do that. But even, even, that, pa I was, even that pause, I, say, I might say, now, oh, wait a minute, you, you just uh, paused. Now, you said something. Now, why, why did you pause? And so I say, oh, I didn't want it. What was it that made you pause? All of a sudden, the silence is revelatory, too. You and I are talking right now. The microphone is, is merely a, a medium. It's a means. But we can talk across, as we are talking, across the mic without the microphone. We're having a cup of coffee, say, or a drink, and we're talking. This is the only possible way to... How can a person reveal himself? I'm talking about revealing his thoughts, not invading privacy, but revealing his thoughts that he wants to, or sometimes doesn't want to reveal. But at times I find a person says to me, you know, I didn't think that I felt that way <laughs> until I just said it. Yes. So it's pro yes. It's in that sense too. Well, you, one finds, I think, uh, at least it seems to me, that your best um, weapon uh, in a studio is is really whatever general knowledge you have and a genuine curiosity it has and enthusiasm to know what that other person knows, what they want to say, what they think about it. So that you're listening, when a person answers your question, you're listening with much more than your, than your conscious mind.